Oh, my God. Well, of course I am. These are the skilled hands of a surgeon. Of course I am. It's a breeze. Surgeon. There you are. Oh, I do not feel a breeze, John. You want me to get Gregory a sweater? No, no, no. That's not that kind of a breeze. What oh, John, a what a party you've got going here. Hi. Hi. All right, have some food. Enjoy the oh, afternoon. Oh, don't worry. I plan to. Oh, it looks great. Oh, oh, Rachel, I'd like to meet Lily Tran. Lily, this is Rachel Corey. I've heard so much about you and all good things. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Corey. Okay. I better get these to the others. Excuse me. I hope I didn't say anything to offend you. No, nothing at all. She's just a little reserved, a lot of new faces. You know. Oh, I can understand that. I understand she's taking care of Gregory. Yes, she is. She's terrific. Oh, Rachel, good. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Mwah. You're up next. We need you for our uh, tournament, uh, round robin horseshoe tournament. Are you kidding? My no, horses always wind up in the bushes. Oh, well, that's perfect. No problem, because uh, the activity over there is strictly Bush League. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> anyway, Jen is waiting. What do you say? All right, but you'll regret this. Oh, I'll good. See you later. So long. Listen, um, I saw Felicia today. And how is she? She's not doing real well. Would you go see her? Okay, let me go find Frankie and we'll get out of here. Thanks. Hey, John. <laughs> hey, Ryan. <laughs> so now, uh, do you know where Jen is? I think she's out in the field playing the horseshoes. Oh, great. Listen, I'm just going to go talk to her and I'll get out of your way here. Well, you don't have to get out of the way. You're more than welcome to stay. Please, there's plenty. Okay, listen, um, do you know if Kevin Anderson's going to be here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he, he may show up later on. Half the town has already. Yeah. That's great. Um, I'll just wait for him. Then. Good. Uh, listen, since you're going to wait, would you mind uh, just watch this guy? i got to go and get some more rolls. Gotcha. Thanks. Yeah, then. Hey, Ryan. You didn't know you were a party crasher. Well, no, I came to talk to John about Lucas's autopsy report, but I guess I picked a bad time. No, um, Kevin, wait a second. I really wanted to apologize for blowing up yesterday. Well, come on, Ryan, I understand. I would have, too, if I thought the DA was trying to railroad me into a confession. Yeah. No, I, I know you guys were just following your leads. Yeah. What do we have of them? Hey, you don't sound too optimistic. Well, unfortunately, I've exhausted most of my options. And Kevin, um, are you in the right mindset for this? What do you mean? I mean, you just have to start you know, thinking like this guy, get inside his head, because if you can figure out his reasons for shooting Lucas, then it'll lead you right to him. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Well, if I could do that, then I could be one of the best cooks there is, couldn't I? Well, I've always said the uh, best cops would make the best crooks. I remember. And you may be right about crossing that line from cop to crook. Really? Yeah, I mean, if I put to use everything that I've learned from career criminals, I could probably do a lot of damage. Here, Kevin, you know, hypothetically speaking, maybe we could talk about this more when we both have more time. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Oh, hello, Jenna. Ryan, Hi. I uh, heard you were looking for me. Yeah, I was. I need to find John. Excuse me. Okay, see ya. I bet you thought you'd find me at the tuxedo club, didn't you? Well, I really wasn't sure. Okay, look, Ryan, you don't have to babysit me, okay? And neither does Captain Frank. Jenna, look, I know that you'd be willing to do just about anything for Dean right now. Not this time. Look, I heard you loud and clear, okay? I'm gonna stay safe and sound and out of your hair. Good. Because right now I want you to stick around here for a while. Why? Well, as you just said, I think it'd be best for me to know exactly where you are so that I can concentrate on finding out who the bad guy is. Look, I don't want to mess you up, okay? But I really don't think that the guy that did this was interested in me. You know, I'd much rather be safe than sorry. And going to places like the Tuxedo Club just, well, it's pushing your luck. So take a look at this. And do you think that the angle of entry is consistent with the medical examiner's conclusion that the height of the gunman can't be determined? Unfortunately, yes. According to the evidence, the shooter was on the stairs. It makes them kind of difficult to find out what his height is. All right, now, well, give me your best estimate. <laughs> Anywhere between 5 feet and 6 two. That's real helpful. Well, like I said, I agree with the medical examiner. Right. Well, thanks for looking at this, and uh, sorry if I interrupted your party. Not at all. If you uh, have any more questions, you just give me a call. Will do. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.